Welcome to the My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video on how to complete a semi-annual report form, or SAR, in My Compass PA. This demonstration video shows users how to complete a SAR in the mobile app. Once the user is logged in, if a SAR is available for completion, the user will see a reminder card on their dashboard. The reminder card will state, complete your SAR along with the case number and a SAR due date. This user taps the reminder card, and the SAR screen appears. On the SAR screen, the user will see a message that reads, We need to review your benefits eligibility through the semi-annual review form, SAR. To complete the form, answer the questions on the next screen. You will be asked to review and then submit your responses. A More Instructions link is available just below the Additional Resources message that appears in the yellow box. The user taps the link. The SAR Instructions screen appears for the user to review. After reviewing the instructions, the user taps the back button in the upper left corner of the screen. The user returns to the previous SAR screen. To begin completing the SAR, the user would tap the Begin SAR button at the bottom of the screen. Please note that if the user began filling out the SAR form, but left the app and returned later to complete it, the button would say Resume instead of Begin SAR. If the user SAR is late, a panel will appear that shows the user their case number, contains a message indicating that the SAR is late, and indicates for which reporting period the SAR is late. This user hasn't yet started their SAR. They tap Begin SAR. The user has the option to complete all, some, or none of the questions, and the SAR will be accepted. In addition, the user can complete the sections in any order. However, if the user leaves questions incomplete, their caseworker will still need to contact them to gather any additional required information. There are seven questions on the form related to current address, household members, jobs, income from other sources, child support, child slash dependent care, and resources. This demonstration video addresses five questions as the approach to answering questions is very similar. To begin, the user taps the current address card. The current address screen appears. Here the user can verify the existing address on file or update the address if necessary. Please note that if the user changes their address and taps Confirm and Save, a GIS validation pop-up will appear. In the pop-up, the user would either need to select a suggested address that the app provides or select the address that they entered. The user would need to confirm the selection. Also, if the user changed their address, they would be asked to confirm the shelter and utility costs they are responsible for at the new address. This user still lives at the same address, so they would tap Confirm and Save. When they do, the SAR question screen appears. A green check mark will appear to the right of the current address card, indicating the user completed that section. The next section is household members. The user taps the household members card. The household member screen appears. Here the user can review existing household members. If no changes are necessary, the user can tap confirm and save at the bottom of the screen. If changes are needed, the user can remove a household member by tapping the Remove button to the right of the household member's name. Or, they can add a household member by tapping the Add a Household Member card. In this situation, a household member moved out of the home. They tap the Remove button next to the individual's name. When they do, an Undo button will appear to the right of the individual's name. This button will allow the user to undo the change if they didn't intend to remove the individual. Please note that undo will be available up to the point where the user taps confirm and save. This user also wants to add a new household member. They tap the plus sign to the right of the add a household member card. The add household member screen appears. The user will add the household member's information. Please note that a cancel link is available at the bottom of the screen. Tapping the link will return the user to the household member's screen. This user decides to continue. They add the individual's first name, last name, date of birth, and the relationship to the head of household. To add the relationship, the user taps the Relationship to You optional field. When they do, a list of relationship types will appear. In this case, the user selects Brother by tapping the selection. Brother appears in the drop-down. Having entered the necessary information, the user taps the Add button at the bottom of the screen. The user is taken back to the household member's screen where the new household member now appears. The user is done making changes to the household. They tap Confirm and Save. A pop-up appears confirming that the user is removing a household member. They tap OK. 
When they do, the pop-up disappears. The user taps Confirm and Save again to complete the section. The SAR question screen appears. A green checkmark will appear to the right of the household member's card indicating that the user completed that section. The next section is Jobs. The user taps the Jobs card. The Jobs screen appears. On this screen, if applicable, the user can view existing jobs or add a new job. This user needs to add a new job. They tap the blue plus sign to the right of the Add a New Job card. The Add Job screen appears. This user will enter information regarding the household member who obtained a job. They will also enter the individual's employer name, income, pay frequency, start date, and first pay date. Please note that a cancel link is available at the bottom of the screen. Tapping the link will return the user to the jobs screen. The user begins by tapping the household member dropdown. A dropdown will appear containing all household members on file. The user selects an individual in the dropdown. The individual will appear in the household member field. The user taps the employer name field and enters the employer name. Next, the user taps the income field and enters the gross amount before taxes. The user then taps the pay frequency field and selects the pay frequency. Next, the user taps the start date field and enters the start date. Finally, the user taps the first pay date field and enters the pay date. After entering the pay date, the Add button becomes active at the bottom of the screen. The user taps the Add button. The app returns to the Jobs screen. The job that the user added will appear under New Jobs. To edit a job, the user would tap the Edit button in the right of the job card. To remove the job, the user would tap the red Remove button in the far right of the job card. This user decides to save the entry. They tap Confirm and Save. The SAR question screen appears. A green check mark will appear to the right of the jobs card, indicating that the user completed that section. The next section is Income from Other Sources. The user taps the Income from Other Sources card. The Other Income screen appears. If applicable, the user will see other sources of income on file. They can remove existing sources of income or add new sources of income. This user needs to add new income. They tap the plus sign in the Add an Income card. The Add Other Income screen appears. The user will enter information regarding the household member who obtained the income. They will also enter the income type and amount. Please note that a cancel link is available at the bottom of the screen. Tapping the link will return the user to the job screen. In this instance, the user begins by tapping the household member dropdown. When they do, a list of household members will appear. The user selects an individual in the dropdown. The selected individual will appear in the household member field. Next, the user taps the Income Type field. A scrollable list of income types will appear. The user can enter the income type in the available text box, or they can scroll through the list to see available selections. This user taps Fixed Pension. Fixed Pension now appears in the Income Type field. Next, the user enters the amount of pension payments they receive. They tap the Amount field and enter the payment amount. When they do, the Add button is enabled. The user taps the Add button and the app returns to the Other Income screen. In the New Income section, the user will see the income they just entered. The user can edit or remove the new income using the buttons to the right of the new income card. This user would like to edit the amount they receive. They tap the Edit button. The Add Other Income screen appears once more. They tap the Amount field, edit the amount, and tap the Update button at the bottom of the screen. The app returns the user to the Other Income screen. The user will see that the payment amount was updated. Once they are satisfied with the changes, they tap the Confirm and Save button. The SAR question screen appears. A green check mark will appear to the right of the Income from Other Sources card, indicating that the user completed that section. The next section is Child Support. The user taps the Child Support card. The Child Support screen appears. Here, if applicable, the user can add child support payments they make by tapping the plus sign to the right of the Add Child Support Change card. If a current child support payment exists, the user can edit or remove the payment. For the purposes of this demonstration video, the user was ordered to pay child support. They need to add the payment amount, so they tap the plus sign. The Add Child Support screen appears. Once more, the Cancel link is available at the bottom of the screen. The user taps the Child Support Amount field and enters the amount of the new child support payment. The user then taps the Pay Frequency field. 
they select a pay frequency from the list that appears. The selected frequency appears in the pay frequency field, and the add button at the bottom of the screen becomes active. The user taps the add button. The child support screen appears and now shows the additional payment. Having made the necessary edits, the user taps confirm and save. When they do, the SAR question screen appears. A green check mark will appear to the right of the child support card indicating the user completed that section. As mentioned in the beginning of the demonstration video, the video only addresses a few of the SAR questions. The means of addressing the remaining questions is similar to those already seen. At this time, the user could tap Review and Submit. However, they notice that a Start Over link appears at the bottom of the screen. The user taps the link. A pop-up appears informing the user that they're about to start over. By tapping the Start Over button, all the user's changes would be erased, and the user would need to complete the SAR form from the beginning. The user taps the Go Back link. The SAR question screen appears. The user would like to review and submit their changes. They tap the Review and Submit button at the bottom of the screen. The Review screen appears. This screen displays the answers that the user entered on the SAR. If they would like to edit any of the information, the user can tap the Edit button in the far right of any of the respective cards. Doing so will take the user back to the respective screen to make, confirm, and save any edits. The user must scroll through the answers to review them. When the user reaches the bottom of the page, they will see, in this instance, that the child slash dependent care and resources areas read skipped. This is because the user either did not answer the questions or confirm the information on file. Further down the screen, the user will see a submit button and a start over link. The start over link functions the same as previously shown. This user taps submit. Because the user is skipping one or more SAR questions, a pop-up appears. The pop-up informs the user that submitting an incomplete SAR could impact their benefits. The user could tap the Go Back link to return to the SAR and complete the remaining questions. However, this user taps the Skip Questions button. The Good Cause screen appears. Please note that this screen will also appear when the user submits a late SAR. After reviewing the information on the screen, the user taps the Enter Reasons box. They enter a Good Cause reason and tap the Confirm button at the bottom of the screen. This brings the user to the Confirm and Submit screen. On this screen, they must review and confirm acknowledgement of the on-screen statement by identifying themselves either as the head of household or as an authorized representative submitting the SAR on a recipient's behalf. Before doing so, the user notices that a Review Notices link appears in the middle of the screen. The user taps the link. Another screen appears that provides more information for the user to review. After reading the information, the user taps the Back button in the upper left of the screen. The previous screen appears. If the user is the head of household, they would tap the head of household radio button. If the user is an authorized representative, submitting the SAR on a recipient's behalf, they would tap the authorized representative radio button, which this user does. Two fields appear. The first allows the user to enter their name. The second allows the user to enter their primary phone number. This user is the head of household. They tap the radio button next to head of household. The Submit button at the bottom of the screen is enabled. The user taps the Submit button. The Voter Registration screen appears. Voter Registration is addressed in the demonstration video titled Accessing and Using the My Compass PA Menu. This user is already registered to vote. They tap the Next button at the bottom of the screen. The Receipt of SAR screen appears. The screen prompts the user for an email address to which to send a SAR receipt. Please note that if the user has an email address on file, that email address will appear here, with the option to enter a new or different email address. This user does not have an email address on file. If the user enters an email address on this screen, the Send Receipt button at the bottom of the screen would be enabled. If the user tapped Send Receipt, the email address entered would be used for receiving account communications, including their SAR receipt. The user taps the Continue Without Receipt button at the bottom of the screen. A success screen appears. This screen informs the user that their SAR has been submitted successfully. The user can either tap the Return to Dashboard button at the bottom of the screen to return to the app dashboard, or they can tap the Upload Documents button to upload documents related to their SAR submission. Uploading Documents is addressed in the demonstration video titled Uploading Documents Using My Compass PA. The user taps Return to Dashboard. The app dashboard appears. 
Thank you for watching this My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video. Please note that links to all My Compass PA demonstration videos appear in the video description below. Have a great day!